Hey, what's up guys? Good morning. Today begins my journey of intermittent fasting and I'm going to be showing you exactly what I'll be eating so that you can follow along or you can just fast with me and eat whatever you want. So if you guys are excited for that, make sure you click that subscribe button and like the video so that you don't miss any future videos. And with that said, cue the intro. <laughs> Okay, so it is currently 7.56 and today we are weighing at, let's see, today is Friday, right? And today we're weighing, oh, I forgot to mark these. Okay, well, anyway, I don't know what my Sharpie is, but Wednesday we were at one 32 I believe Thursday was 133 and today's Friday so I'm assuming I'm assuming I'm 132 133 ish so so we'll go ahead and check out where we're at today all right so we are sitting at One hundred and thirty-seven. All right, so there you have it. Hopefully that gives you guys a good idea um, where I'm at in, in terms of uh, weight. Today marks the day, the first day actually of intermittent fasting. All right, so I found a Sharpie. So it is Friday the 29th. So we will be marking our weight at one, let's just say 135 pounds. All right, there you go. So my game plan is for the next 30 days, we'll say, I'm gonna try to eat the same thing. I'm gonna try my best to eat the same thing for the next 30 days and see if we can hit about roughly 125 pounds. That's my goal. Um, I don't really wanna go any lower than that because I don't see why I would need to. And uh, yeah, did I also mention that it's 42 degrees? <laughs> I'm not a fan of the cold weather, but uh, I'm wrapped up, so. We're good to go. So I finally made my first meal, which is oatmeal. This is about half a cup with two tablespoons of sugar and then I put some cacao. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. But yeah, that comes to about a hundred, about 200 calories probably. I'm not gonna be eating it right now. I'm gonna be eating it at 12. So that'll probably give it enough time to cool down. It's currently 8.30, so it's like four hours away, but it doesn't matter. Whether it's cold or hot, I still eat it anyway. And yeah, I will see you then. So I'm currently here trying to trying to get some natural vitamin D. Wow, that sun is really bright, but let's not let that stop us. So my family was just asking me earlier if I wanted to eat breakfast with them, but unfortunately I had to decline their offer because I don't really know how many calories I'm getting if I ate their food. Especially if you have a Filipino family, they're always going to ask you to eat even when you already ate. That's why, like I said in my last video, that intermittent fasting might not be the best idea if you're wanting to lose weight because of the fact that you got a lot of stuff going on in your life. Like in my case, family wanting you to eat what and when they eat. But don't be ashamed to tell them why you don't want to eat. I had to move because the lighting just wasn't cooperating with me. <laughs> Look at that, even the camera doesn't want to lose weight. So anyway, as I was saying, don't be ashamed to tell your family why you don't want to eat. Just tell your mom, sorry mom, but your food doesn't taste good. <laughs> I'm joking, don't actually tell your mom that. <laughs> anyway, my goal for this journey is to lose about 10 pounds. But at the same time, I wanna be a little bit realistic, so maybe about five-ish pounds. So I went ahead and looked online for an online calculator, calorie calculator to be more specific, um, so that I could track my calories, so that I could figure out how many uh, calories I need in order to lose weight. I'll leave a link to that same calorie calculator down in the description so that you can use it too. 
After using the calculator, I figured out that I need to eat about 1400 calories. So the plan is, I'm going to be fasting for 19 hours with a 5 hour eating window for the next 30 days. I haven't done intermittent fasting for a long time, but it should be pretty easy since it's nothing new to me. So I'm not sure if I mentioned this earlier, but I'll start eating around 12 and then go from there. The times that I choose to eat my meals during my eating window doesn't really matter at all as long as I'm eating the correct amount of calories that I need in order to lose weight. Just be smart about spacing your meals instead of just eating them all at once. And uh, yeah, simple as that. Oh, and make sure to stay hydrated because if you don't, then you're probably going to have a hard time. It's currently 10.30. Uh, I still got about an hour and 30 minutes. Man, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> At long last, you know what time it is, 12. That means we can finally eat our first meal. <laughs> there it is, as you can see. Just mix that around, grab that. All right. Mmm, man. So good. Mmm. Here, you have some. Ah. Here it is. It's done. Probably gonna have, actually no, I will have. I'm gonna have a banana just to top it all off. And then we're done for breakfast. Well, brunch, actually. After eating all that, that should put me at about 300 calories. It is now 2.31, which means it is time to get our second meal of the day. So I will be having this tuna by great value. It's got 15 grams of protein with about 80 calories. Probably eat it with some rice and then add some other stuff if I want to. Depends how I'm feeling, so we'll see. All right, there it is. Here's the tuna plus some rice and then I put a little bit of some uh, homemade salsa. It's just cilantro and tomatoes and uh, a little bit of soy sauce, that's about it. And then I'll probably put like uh, some no salt seasoning on here just to finish it off. Yeah, that's it, it's the second meal. After eating this, that'll put me at about, I believe, somewhere around 500-ish calories. So now I'm just gonna dig into this, get that out of the way and then I'll probably eat a little something else. We'll see. Uh, yeah, let's dig in. Mm. So I was debating real hard whether or not I wanted to actually eat a little more. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to eat a little more. So I'm going to make sort of like a, a simple and easy to make peanut butter and jelly sandwich. We'll go from there. And if we calculated everything correctly, not going to be exact, obviously, but this should put us at around somewhere 800-ish calories. There's that. I'm going to enjoy this and finish it. And then I will see you guys when I eat my last meal, which is 5 p.m. It's now 3 p.m., so I got two hours left. All right, there it is. It is officially 5 p.m. Even I have a reminder that says eat so here is my last and final meal which is i don't know if you can see that anyway that's what i'm having it's just some rice again with some salmon that i made and then a little bit of the salsa that i had earlier and that's it after eating this i'll be at about um about 1000 about 1100 calories and that's it maybe i'll just use the rest the uh the other 200 to 300 calories left to just eat anything I want so that's it all right so that pretty much finishes uh, episode one of my intermittent fasting journey so yeah that's all I got for today <laughs> all right so what happened look what you've done my fault <laughs> Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure you click that subscribe button and leave a like because it helps me lose fat faster. <laughs> Alright, I will see you guys in the next episode.